Hello everyone, today we will talk about SQL Server IS Agent extension. I will ask the most commonly asked questions about it. Let's start. Pamir, can you explain what is the SQL Server IS Agent extension and what are its benefits? Okay, thank you so much for asking this question. And SQL Server IS Agent extension is a tool that runs on SQL Server on Azure VMs, specifically SQL Server that's runs on Azure VMs as IS. So it gives uh, automation management, ad easy to administration tasks. It also allows for integration with Azure portal and gives our users to flexible to change license, one license to other license. And also unlocks number of automation features. That's it basically. Yes. Uh, the next question is, how can we install and configure the extension in an Azure environment? Sure, let me sh share my screen and then let me show you. Yeah, so what I will do is just one comment to enable. But before that, let me show you something very important on this extension. So as you can see that, now as you can see that it's just a normal Azure VM and this panel doesn't give you option to manage your SQL Server that is running in this uh, VM. And if you go to SQL Virtual Machines, as you can see that I don't have a SQL Server that is running on Azure Cloud because Azure right now doesn't know if the VM is running SQL Server or not. So the benefits that we mentioned a couple of seconds ago, just executing this comment, AZ SQL VM create, it will not create a virtual machine. It will just add the ex install the extension. And after that, I'm just setting the resource group and setting the location. And I'm just setting the license type. And when I hit this comment, it will install the extension in the, in the uh, Azure VM. And after that, I will have the benefits of using this extension. What are these? Auto backup, couple of license changes, and uh, Azure Key Vault integration and a couple of mini features like that. I just want to show you when the uh, extension is installed. And next question, if you have. Uh, how does the extension simplify SQL Server license management? Super cool question. So as you can see that in this comment, I select that Azure Hybrid benefit. And also I can select if I don't have the license, I can select the uh, normal enterprise edition, or if my SQL Server extension, uh, so, uh, if my SQL Server extension running uh, for disaster recovery, then I will convert these licenses from Azure Hybrid Benefit to pay as you go, or pay as you go model to if my SQL Server is running disaster recovery, I can change from license to license depending on my scenario. And this is one of the very powerful features of uh, SQL extension. So let me show you from the panel. So the comment is not finished. Yep, it's finished. And I'll click SQL VM right here. And after the clicking this SQL VM, as you can see that in the panel right now, I have the management capabilities to uh, for my SQL Server. And I can back up, I can update it. I can install Defender for uh, SQL Server. And also, if there's a problem in the uh, SQL Server, I can repair the extension from the help menu in here. And when I click configure, as I said that, pay as you go model, if I don't have the license, if my SQL Server is running for HI for the DR scenarios, I can switch from one license to the other. And also I can select the addition of my SQL Server from the panel. So it gives me very flexible licensing operations to manage my SQL Server very easily. And if you have any other question, let me ask you. Is there any pricing to use the extension? Uh, actually, the extension is totally free. The only thing that the only thing that you need is enabling the Azure Resource Provider, which is Azure SQL Virtual Machine. And other than that, there is no additional cost to enable this extension. 
I do have a question, actually. Is there any way to delete the extension? Yes, sure. It's very easy to delete the extension. So let me clear the screen. And with this comment, az is equal vm delete. And name of the SQL server. It will not delete the VM. It just de delete the uh, extension. And I'm setting the resource group. So if I click enter, it will ask me yes or no. I select yes, and the extension will will be uh, deleted. And when you delete the extension, how does it shows in the Azure portal? Again, it will back to normal virtual machines. So I need to click the SQL, uh, my SQL virtual machine, and I don't I will not have the uh, administration panel in in in, in Azure portal. So I can manage MySQL server from here, or if I want to manage MySQL server uh, SQL related management capabilities, I need to connect it. So the easy way of managing MySQL server will be vanished, and I will not see the SQL servers in the SQL server uh, panel. These are the questions that I have, so I don't have any more questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. And see you in the next episode. See you.